like I was watching the games, right? Streaming them, and I was trying to always give input, so I was less enjoying it and more. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not didn't I didn't I go as expected? I thought you guys would just throw them. Yeah, I thought so as well. Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought so as well. I mean, I didn't know exactly right how good they are and like how much they practice because we. So I I actually checked. We had three scrim blocks prior to CCL playoffs because we couldn't find anything on an A, and I didn't know how much they played. And I mean, we were leading to zero, and the games were fine. And I thought we could 3-0, uh, but then Dragon... Sh I mean, yeah, Towers was unplayable, I think. We couldn't do anything with the heroes we had into the Vikings' last pick. And Dragonshire, I mean, was maybe winnable, but was hard, I think. Like, the Lunara was shit. Yep. Maybe the maybe the Kerrigan wasn't that good either, I don't know. I think after game two, like, uh, suddenly game three, the drafts looked weaker. Oh, uh, yeah. For sure, especially Towers. Uh, I yeah. at least I think both teams opened up well, and then I think both teams kind of leaned. Uh, honestly, after we t the we timed out. Phase. Yeah, yeah, we even we kind of timed out on 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 uh, Like it was very <laughs> dramatic, the pick order on Towers. Uh, and then Benny even said they might go Vikings, but I mean I don't yeah. know. We didn't we didn't ban it, and we had no tools against it. It was terrible to play. Yes. Vikings uh, was a fantastic last pick. Yeah, yeah. And on shrines, honestly, I don't know. Like the Tassada. <laughs> I mean, he won us on 20, I... right? But we couldn't do much the whole game. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys even 120 with Autumn. It was more you guys getting good picks anyway. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Also, uh, but yeah, the. You guys had such a good 1 2 3 with Lucio more than Hanzo. Yeah, and then I, I like Tassel and well. the Haka, I don't think they do the same thing at all. Yeah. With the Haka, you want to be aggressive. Maybe Leoric was better than the Haka, I guess. But... Yeah. Like, if you want the Tassada, you get Leo. If you want the Haka, you probably get, I don't know, Kerrigan or Jaina. So you have Wave Clear on top of Kill Pressure. Yeah. Because Tassada doesn't kill uh, into, into these heroes. Yeah. I... I think we were talking about Leoric quite a bit as well, but then we, we decided to pick the Haka. But yeah, I don't know, I guess. And it was also the early game camp invade, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It yeah. worked. Uh, I mean, but I don't know. They, they, they played it really well. Like, Blaze was already covering the play in case you guys go for it. and. Yeah, I mean, and then and then we realized, like, Tassada and Hanzo, how slow we are at the easy, but then my front line was yeah. already in. And then I saw Benny was like 1% and then Blaze came and I knew, okay, this is uh, go next, uh, early <laughs> game at least. Like, it's super bad when that happens, right? Yep. yep. It just can't, ha it cannot happen. Like, because you even borrow there. Like, Dhaka, he loses all value actually when that happens. Terrible, terrible early game. But, yeah. Yo, did you like Dragon Strike though? <laughs> was, uh... was it good? I wouldn't ever go it, but <laughs> honestly, I... It was probably good against the Mephisto. Yeah, it was end. good in that game, and right? And on yeah. Shrine. Yeah. Like, uh, after 20, you, it's probably really good. Yeah, once we had 20, it was actually insane. It started becoming Bef insane. Before that, I mean, doesn't Arrow maybe get you a kill or two every now and yeah, then? Yeah, not with Tassada. Not with our Yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> like, Tassada, it's so bad with it. Uh, like, you have the Haka lose you more than you want to look. You want to look, and then there's Tassada <laughs> always behind. <laughs> It's worse than Hammer. Actually, I mean, it's true. I mean, yeah, Hammer can, <laughs> Hammer can follow up, actually. better, Probably BFG. better than Tassada. Because I said it, like, at level 16 or something, I said, guys, we haven't even used Archon yet. Because we can't, like, this is just... <laughs> I guess we wait until 20, and then we just go with the Archon, right? Because Nick didn't... Like, we didn't have any opportunity to do anything. But yeah, yeah. fine. Uh, actually, so 30k versus Diamond Hands. What do you think? Um, what's your prediction? 3 or 30k? 3 or 30k? You don't even give them... Uh... I think Diamond Hands will win a map, no? They're full in A now. Rutsu is gonna pop off, actually. I yeah, think he, he yeah, legit but... will. I mean, if Rutsu decides to whip out his Trace or Zeratul and actually make the ping diff a, like, a reasonable thing, sure. I mean, 30k is not inting their drafts, which... 
I mean, Kira, Kira is a smart player. Yeah, he's he's smart if player, he, smart drafter. Yeah. If he doesn't go for his cheesy picks or I don't know, like like legacy uh, white man or whatever, like if they don't go for that kind of shit, I think they're good. Yeah, I just think... have the more consistent players on top of probably the more consistent drafts. Yeah, I think I mean they are the favorite for sure. I mean they are probably the favorite for the whole tournament. Like, uh, I th I think that's kind of obvious, but. I don't know. I think Diamond ha I think actually Diamond Hands has very consistent draft when I remember how they used to play. Like they they always draft like very similar to their to their own style. And I mean Ruzzo, there's like there's some Zarya, there's some Tracer. He plays a lot of here Probios. Maybe we get to see some of that. I don't know. Uh wait, someone is asking, don't you think Tassada is the safest pick versus Mephisto? I mean, I don't think they interact Ooh. too much together. Also Tassada has a pretty big hitbox. Uh, I don't know, like I and think it's very Mephisto favorite. I, I wanted to say I don't even think it's good for Tassadar technically versus Mephisto. And we didn't even didn't they last pick Mephisto? We didn't even see that, yeah. no? Yeah, so <laughs> Yeah. They probably were rubbing like, oh yeah, there's a Tassadar, let's get the Mephisto, but um I don't think I mean yeah, I don't think Tassada has a very good matchup into the Mephisto. Hmm. So first map, guys, we are almost we are almost getting ready with a clean. First map is going to be battle, yeah, battlefield. Uh, you're using the clean field, yes? Uh, yeah, I will. Sorry, I was okay. looking at Grubby's uh, stream, but I can find it. No, it's fine. I'll put this. I on have now. it. Uh, there we go. Should start very soon. <coughs> What is a better pick instead of Tassala? I mean, as Dino said, right, if we have the Dehaka, probably something that is proactive. Anything that has a bit of mobility, that has uh, kill pressure, maybe. Uh, yeah. But Kerrigan, Jaina are the first two that come to mind. Kerrigan, Jaina. Personally. Yeah. I think like Jaina can at least. Uh, yeah. Like Jaina does have the same wave clear, but can also go in front. Mm. Yeah. And Kerrigan can do has wave clear and can do both front and backline. Yeah, maybe maybe Nick was discouraged with the Kerrigan on Dragonshire, but I think it wasn't on him. I think the pick was maybe not perfect, and the Lunara was bad. I think we shouldn't have picked her. We needed a bit more burst, or maybe the Monk because they have like too many melee, so we didn't get seven side value. I don't know. I would have to see the replay actually. Maybe we just misplayed honestly on Dragon. Uh, but yeah. Oh wait, I can hear the the sounds. Nice. They're going. So. I got time enhanced in player names. Yeah, boy. And punished heavy. I'm very sad that Ruzzo is not bang anymore. But yeah. <laughs> uh, what is it with them not using their normal names? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Stu Stukov man. Oh yeah, that's it's probably the Liam influence. Yeah, yeah, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Liam can't win against Sukov, guys. <laughs> At least that's how it used to be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true, actually. It's the Liam influence. Uh, they I did mean, Diamond Hats is design. probably the team that plays Stukov. Uh, they, they like to clump. They yeah, probably yeah. this kind of draft anyway. Yeah, and Liam has very good insights with Happy, right? Because they played together for quite a while. So. Um, they did ban mm -hmm. the Zarya. That's uh, the Rutsu pick that we discussed. Wait, are we same time, by the way? Let me see. Uh, 24 Hanzo pick. Sorry, there was no time. Uh, 20, 22, 21, 20, oh. 19, 18, 17. Okay, okay. we're synced. Okay, perfect. So Hanzo first pick, by the way. Madara special. Uh, we Pretty fine. Should get countered by or like something I can dive him already. You mean Genji? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's what I would do. Yo, yeah. I started playing Genji Dino after you said it. Yeah. Like I, I played the two Storm League games. Uh, I won, lo I won one, and I lost one. But there's more to come. I will actually yeah. spam him <laughs> a bit. Gonna gonna be ready for Miami with Genji, Copium. Yeah. Nice. Macro Genji though. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, <laughs> full, full on Eric mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, don't yeah, let yeah. the enemy play the game and <laughs> exactly. you do good. 
Ooh, Blaze Muradin, that's a very big front line. Because we chose yeah. Anubarak. So I was gonna think about it, like you want to dive into Hanzo, and I think Anub is kind of not the pick. It like it yes, it kind of works in its dive, but it is also very squishy and that also means you give more than away, which is probably just a better Anubarak for yeah. BOE. Yeah, I think so too. Now now you have Hanzo with this thick front line. Uh, the Anu will have a hard time dealing with it. But that's the thing, right? That's what I meant. Like Diamond Hands has a very like straightforward draft and I think Anubarak is extremely important for them the way they play and like Caesar Salad, if he can get it, I think he almost always picks it actually. So yeah. It even weirder though is the Bridewing pick with it. Like you want usually a tank with a high HP pool. The Z doesn't get that much value. True, true. Plus the spell armor is even useless as well. But you think maybe uh, Cure Respect pick? So, uh, I don't know, like it's gonna be good into the heroes that Cure might want to pick? I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you're afraid of that on BOE, then you are probably... Like you can't ever respect your opponents too much or else yeah. you're just giving away... Like, I think for BOE... Having too much respect I think, I mean, good early game. I don't is kind know. Maybe, of maybe, right? maybe they have something properly prepared. Like if it's now Genji and I don't know. Okay, Yurel Sylph. It allows them to play uh, through side lanes. That does make Brightwing better. I mean, they could still pick uh, Tracer or uh, Genji or uh, I don't know something that is maybe be, uh, like helps the Brightwing to get in. But I don't know. Yurel is very strong on BOE though. I kind of like, kind of like the off lane choice here. Yeah. For Nidori. Also this Elbus potential Graham and Reyna. They're really awkward into URL. Wither. And Lunara. Okay. It's it's I mean thirty no. K has a good backline for this map, right? Uh, yeah. A lot of vision uh, poke. Also Uther extra making sure that in case downhands want to go tracer again, that's somewhat disabled, but I think they can just get away with Greymane. Oh, oh, okay, the Sugo Genji. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. I mean, I think actually maybe not too much into Uther Lunara, but uh... yeah. Love it. Mm. So, I mean, <laughs> it's Muradin Blade. It's a fat frontline man. I. They... Yeah. They are able to cocoon. Uh, Uther, let's say, and then maybe go on Hanzo or Lunara, but maybe they die if they try to dive through. Mm. BOE is also, like, it's a very snowball map. If you fuck up the early game, the opponent might get very far ahead, so... And actually, Sylvanas, she can... she Like, if you get a kill and you have the Sylph in your team, you might be able to snowball uh, quite hard. So maybe Diamond Hands, that's what they are looking to do. Also, the Anubarak might be... Might be good for that, to get a bit of a random pick off. Who knows? <clears throat> but uh, I'm with you, Dino. I think 30k... Uh, it's a, pr a very solid draft, right? It's hard to make mistakes, I think, with what they picked. Yep, <clears throat> pretty much. Also, Blaze in the 1v1 vacuum against Euro just does everything faster. Yeah, yeah. When is Sylvanas hmm. a good pick? Uh, Sylvanas is uh, very strong these days. Like you can almost draft her into any, uh, yeah, in any draft basically. There's a few heroes that are good into her, but she's usually fine. Like, yeah. <coughs> I think actually, wait, didn't I think Wildheart had Sylvanas every game but one or something, right? Because we th we then banned it actually. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, I think so. I think they had it on the game. Mm. All right. I more than going to block charges into Genji. Yup. <laughs> he just walks up and starts hitting the tower. I love it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dude. The yeah, boy. Genji finds the Wisp. Genji, one of the the best heroes to kill the Wisp. Uh, only, Ay! only one auto. Ritsu uh, messing up the jump D. Ah, he didn't hit him, you mean? 
Yeah. Ah, no, you... Ah. I didn't even see that. Was it pink? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's Ruth doing? I mean, looks like my guy. <laughs> looks like yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would be top AFK. <laughs> yeah. Which like, this is a certain mistake. Like, this is actually a big mistake because with Genji, you choose the fights, but you willingly choose to fight against Lunar that you don't win and just, like, you lose the trade that you took, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they actually, okay, they, they started top, but uh, it's gonna take them a little bit. But they have the Brightwing, never mind, never mind. Diamond Hands will get this camp, there's no way. Worst case, Brightwing has to see Savannah's. Got the uh, CC. Do we not have clans? Huh? Okay. Apparently not. And no Z, I guess, either, but maybe Brightwing would die if she tries to Z as well. No, I don't know, I guess we didn't have plans on the right wing. It's okay though. We're scaling, guys. And also, more than Kettle showing what a potent hero he is. Just jumping in in the middle of the lane, gets a stun with the stun follow up, yeah. and it's just a kill. Yeah. There are very few heroes that can do the same thing this early in the game. Yeah. I mean, Muradin is very strong, I think, right now. Like, I. It's a top tier tank for sure. And as you said, like the Uther follow up stun made it so Sylvanas actually couldn't reactivate her E. That's why I was thinking maybe if Brightwing had yeah. plans, she would be fine, but. Yeah. I mean, also, wonder whether Poli was. Can Poli Mora be forced on or Uther? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, uh, was unlucky, I guess. Not the biggest deal. Both teams getting the hard cam. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah, how's it called? Sledgehammer, actually. Sorry. That's the right t name, right? Uh, level 4, Muradi? Should be. <coughs> Helps him with the race. Even better than before. Diamond Hands' race is very weak. Yeah, it's basically non-existent. So they, they have to, to get be, a kill. Uh, yeah. They have to get stuff done. Anywhere else. Just be useful. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they're zoning them out. Yorel is getting the sock top. Sylph is clearing bots. I, s I think that's the DK favorite at the moment. Yeah, I agree with you, right? And, and it probably uh, means the Diamond Hands is gonna get shit on in the early game. Um, for them to win like the Immortal Race, they need to get a kill and then they need some time. Because even if... I guess Shin Gun. Like 13 is the first time they can actually increase the DPS uh, quite a bit. But before that, it's like a wet noodle. Yorel is a fantastic defense hero. Maybe she buys enough time she to go down. Yeah, I mean, you just want to lower the shield. You can't win it, but yeah. <coughs> oh, into the boss stun. Oh, Maybe follow up. There we go. Ooh, and Liam went in as well. He might be dead, but they obviously the boss is gone, but two, two heroes. So Diamond Hands is very happy about that. Yes, and they will get the globes as well. Nice. Effectively uh, avoiding their weak early game. So they get to play the game on even footing from 10 onwards, which is a big deal. It's rather, it's still a pretty big shield, but yeah, they get a, a bit of time to hit it before. Yeah, but you well, I mean, you read that bot wave places to catch it, true, so you can actually come, so 30k shouldn't be able to play this. Yeah, that's true. I say that, but Mora's jumping in. Nah, they will get the wall, oh, okay. right? Yeah, that's, yeah. It. yeah <laughs> that's it, I think. Because you you are right. Like usually, Blaze would pro like would probably be able to follow up here, but he was busy on bottom. So they get the wall. Hero will soak bottom. <coughs> Thoughts on Sylvanas level one? Oh, it's fine, no? Or what's wrong with it? I don't know. It's very fine. I think it's <laughs> the right choice this game even. Oh, this guy cracks. <laughs> Ay! Plants. But why are we not okay. hitting? Uh, I think <laughs> Diamond Hands is a little bit AFK. I don't think they realize that they have a realistic kill on Uther as well. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, uh, yeah. Like it was what three v four for the longest time. But like, they're panicking. Sylvanas had like three bodyguards, 
but no one was like stepping up. They just walked with her while the opponents were hitting, you know? I, at least he did get the cleanse this time. Sprite Wing Z. Uther takes a lot of damage. Hi! Ruiz, uh, Ruzo getting the kill there. That's Very ping nice. right there. That's NA Ruzo. Yeah. Show them. Pretty pork. Honestly, the uh, game is very even in terms of XP. Mm, possession and that means that Diamond Hands is ahead because they sh should be behind. Yes. And I think their tents are way more explosive. Cocoon, Extract, Arrow... Uh, yeah. Emerald Wind. The Genji <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the Yasu Special. Uh, yeah. We're trying to body block Liam here, and you get a few shooting gun stacks, uh, shuriken stacks. It's always good. Also, Shingan is—it's it's basically Hansa level four, but yes. on steroids. Yeah, yeah, that's what I—that's what I said. <laughs> right, like once I get thirteen, it's actually pretty big. Once you—you uh, you have a bit of time. Got the whisk, level ten for both teams. Wailing arrow for Sylvanas. I think if you're diamond hands, you just race. Ooh, they tried on Hanzo. Oh. It was a good try. Yeah. I think Diamond Hands is underestimating their own race power, and uh, if 30k is stepping up to race themselves, then you can go on them. Like, because right, like this, they are wait, trying to... Wait, you dead though, no? Wait. Oh, you, you, we missed a lot of... Wait, what? Oh my god. The arrow by Kira was actually massive. It, yeah. The, the micro stun did oh. everything. <laughs> the E didn't get the resets. Also, where's the D shield? Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, Legacy, yo. Yeah, I hope Q is peeking his Uther, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone doesn't like wildlife. Uh, sorry, the uh, Lunara died, not, not Q, sorry, the Madara, right? Yeah. No one is racing, like a lot of brawling Man. here. Uh... Yeah, so, so what I mean, right? If Diamond Hands race themselves and they see, oh, our immortal is taking damage, then they can just move. Or like pretend to move, or I don't know. Like they, they are in control. But if they never race, then 30k is actually chilling. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree. So having like perma defending your model is, is not gonna work. Yeah, you need a bit more. The root so, is chunking Uther down yeah. to hard. Oh, this is maybe deep. We are in the towers. Arrow, three man, right wing. Got the cleanse off, but I think she was too far actually. He ran out to pop ult. Hanzo, one HP. Anubrak dies. And uh, oh, it's 80% shield. 30k. I mean, they were so. Oh, they were diving mid towers <laughs> actually, no? Diamond Hands. What yep. was going on there? They're crazy. It's like uh, when my teammates decide to dive somewhere and you're like, wait. It's even sausage. Oh, oh, this death the hurts skull really cracker. hard. Oi, oi, oi. Perma CC'd. Sylvanas, 20 seconds when the boss spawns. That's rough. Very rough, actually. And, uh, I mean, this fort is gone. Fort is gone and probably top fort, too. I don't think you... Wait, maybe you do play for the keep. Keyboard you don't have sure, D shield right? though. You don't have D shield though, and this kind of draft is really bad. It, I mean, it's really good at sieging ish, but it's really exposed to dive in this kind of moment, especially with D shield. Would you cocoon Mura uh, then, or I, see, I think I you still have to cocoon Uther though if you wanna dive. But I... go on whoever and cocoon the biggest threat by then. You don't yeah, have to cocoon okay. first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But who even is the biggest threat? Blaze, maybe? Yeah, I was thinking Blaze, actually. If he and gets bunker. a big E and the bunker off, then no one dies anyways. So they got key ball, and actually they're dealing... Oh, they used bunker for this. Wait. Okay, but then it's you go. They found okay, someone. You go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arrow. Right wing didn't pre-cleanse it. Divine shield. Can we cocoon? Use oh no, don't tell me everyone gets out. Uh, we don't even use silence arrow for this, oh! but we see this gift trade. We go, we go, we go, Diamond Hands. Ruzzo's dead. Didn't get the... Oh, no, wait, extract was already used. Uh, wait, what are we... Silence wait, arrow... No! <laughs> oh, bro! Hi -yo -yo, yeah, boy! Win, man. <laughs> what? 
ping lag everything at the, at the same time what was going on there like we don't use it on muradin when he's alone so he gets the avatar off and then we use it when everything is over and we don't i mean we didn't hit we hit the fort right <laughs> Ah, Dino, what was that? I don't know. I don't know what Some to say. Some players just don't want to win. I don't know. There were, I mean, yeah. I hope his not teammates didn't see the it. Burden, not silencing when there are five enemies on the one pixel hitting Genji. Not, but then in the end, trying to <laughs> go for the yeah for the clutch kill, the, the YouTube, yeah, 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 the YouTube play. Ah, uh, well, I mean, ah, uh, yeah, it's hard now. They're doing doing uh, Bruiser Camp on both sides. A spell shield and leaping strike, by the way, for Lunara. Shin gun finally uh, locked in for the Genji. They are a level down, but they will get a team fight here before. Can go on Muradin. Yeah, yeah, big damage. Uh, let's go on Usha. Uther. No pre cleanse again. Heavy. What is that? This? He shield on Lunara while she was flying. Yeah, boy, is dead. I think right wing Z is on 10 second, right? So you will soon have it again. Nintori, everyone is so chaotic this fight. Wait. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Then. This is very vulnerable for Diamond Hands, though. Yeah. Do you see bot lane? <laughs> Look at what? Oh, this is not very vulnerable for Diamond Hands. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I mean, I guess you accept oh, that he dies. They get a reset. Re oh. oh, I missed the second E, sadly. Dido would have hit it. Maybe he gets the no, kill no, anyways. No, no. <laughs> oh. Leaping strike for Would have mattered. Would have mattered in the end. Yeah, yeah, Nara she was dead. If he, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he hit the second E, she would have been dead. Rough, rough, rough. And bottom keep, obviously dead. But you can win. Uh, guys, you can win on BOE without keeps. Like, it's possible. We've seen it all. Especially with driving. And especially because the catapults, they tend to shoot the middle tower <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> you, have, you have more time yep. than on other maps. 10 seconds extra buffer. Yeah, yeah. They get 16 actually. And uh, it's 50 50 kind of with a. How's the spot? The arrow is coming. Wait, there's an arrow! Aye! Okay. We're so late to racing as Diamond has. Wow. Well, don't they Can just we win with Shin Gun? Can we fight? I guess fight uh... Yo, yo, isn't Diamond Hands? Can they just race? Why are they not? Uh, Rotso is starting it now, but everyone is uh, confused. I mean, they're yeah, gonna I lose mean, it. yeah, they're confused. Yeah, right? <laughs> they're gonna lose it, but it's small shield at least. An arrow was you, you, Nara. Okay, the shield. Silence arrow. They were again all on one pixel. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I mean sometimes, right? Too so, scary. so obviously, too scary. yeah, yeah, yeah. I maybe guess. Savannah's uh, is even more hesitant now to use silence after she fucked up on top. <laughs> Sometimes pe people are like, yeah, you know, yeah. they they lose their confidence when something like that happens. Because obviously it was ugly, but you just gotta try better next fight. We have all ults. Yeah. I don't know. No D shield. We have Kuku like we should go, no? And yes. It? Yes. Right wing Z on Anub E in Cocoon one of them and try to fight. Blaze missed his E again. This is fightable, guys. Diamond hands. You can't step up. Speaking of stepping up. Rel ult was good, but they just let them go. Yeah. I had too much emphasis on trying to defend the immortal. I think you cut a little bit of HP of your keep and go, like you, as you said. That's I honestly that's very illegal that 30k just gets to hit. Yeah, without D shield, right? And, and no air, like they no threat on them for yeah. some reason. I mean, you should try to fight. I think you have the draft for it. You're very yeah, mobile. You see, you see, this is why, uh, I mean, I, I was predicting Oxygen is going to win it all. Like, if 30k drafts and plays, plays like this, like very cocky, you guys will punish them. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> <Surely>. <laughs> I hope so. Rutso, X strikes out. Oh, sorry. He got uh, stunned in his deflect, I think, and then he got scared. That's why he X striked out. He was maybe fine without. So 18 versus, I mean, okay. They, I mean, they just have to win one team fight, right? They will get them two forts, and then the game is uh, close. But if 30k wins the next team fight, the game is probably over. So Diamond Hands needs to needs to clutch it basically. 
Wait one second. <coughs> Alright, I'm back. Wait, maybe Dino's Hello AFK. Back. Oh no, you are yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was AFK for a second as well. Uh Alright, alright. So same level. We just have to win a team fight, right? That's that's it basically. Well we need to get a kill actually. That that is a good start as well. This is a really good spawn for Diamond Hands. Uh no it's I'd see it is if they just race, but they're doing the same mistake again I think. Genji is yeah, he was uh, brawling. He's gonna start to shin gun the boss now though. But I think all of them can race. It's Hans, like one Oh, Hans Anubis is in trouble! I... Wait, Brightling turnable? Z, just in time. Cool. Moradin, 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 he's in. Okay, we go on Uther after. He should be... At least force the shield. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Next strike. Blaze is dead. And the hammer, look at him, he ran. Boom, another one. Yo, diamond hands. Okay. That's what we were talking about. Getting, uh, winning the team I, fight. That was very lucky, right? Like, Anub almost got one shot. Like, that was a fight they didn't choose, but they won it. True. They got really lucky. Uh, Anoop, but yeah, uh, what's in their favor? Right Core is never dying. We yeah. have a tower. Yeah, yeah, the, to the, the yeah, we see the cutter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the catapult shooting the tower. Ah, come on, Blizzard, please. Fix your game. Next patch, maybe. Next patch. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Did Kitty? Yeah, yeah, Kitty wanted to leave. Yeah. Yo, Hazu, your, your cat was trending on Twitter the other day. It said, yeah, it said Tesla was trending. Ah, Tesla, yeah. Over 50,000 tweets. Uh, yeah, I wonder <laughs> if it was the, the cat, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the science guy or the, the car, who knows. <laughs> uh, they're getting the boss here. Actually, the game is super close now, right? Because both teams will get 20. In fact, diamond, so it's bottom four. It's good that it's bottom as well, because they need to deep push that lane anyways. Four diamond hands, I mean. Mm. Uther will get 20 respawn though, that's something to keep in mind, so you can start to end it. I really don't like that Ural is not bot yet. Blaze missed another Helium! I think 500 ping today! Is that Cocoon out, oh, oh my god, this is really bad for 30k. Ural is finding the perfect tank as well. Maybe. Right, so someone is in there, Legacy. He's gonna die before 20. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah, I mean, we only, we got one kill. I felt like we maybe could have gotten two, but. Can we get the. Oh, can we oh. get the key? Ren is hard to kill, like, she still has ult. Arrow! Oh, four man! And the bullseye on right wing! Oh my god, Kiwa! Oh, you Big. Yeah. It surely we had cleansed, Wait. right? Is this galloping gay? Do you see that? Ha! <laughs> Madara! <laughs> bro! Oh, Ritz, no, my god, Ritz is missing everything! Wait! Oh, Q no. are 24 HP, I think! Okay, uh, yo, didn't Brandon have cleansed? She never used to burn anything, right? Surely she must have had it up. I think what so, she unless, use she used it, unless she used it uh, in the in the, in yeah, the dive. Blaze missed the first stun, so there was nothing, nothing needed. Yeah, 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 I agree. I don't know what happened there. Oh, uh, if Rutsu, yo, Rutsu could have killed like two heroes there, right? If, if, if he pops off there. Yep. But, I mean, that's often how it is with Genji, right? If, if you play like super clean, yeah, there's, uh, there's always something you can do. I think Madara has galloping. Yeah, he does have it, guys. The 20. <laughs> Infinite, uh, like when you press the button. Infinite speed. Yeah. Genji goes at you and you just gallop away. It's so <laughs> yeah. I think Genji gallops after you though, because he has two <laughs> more buttons to jump, but yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting, actually. Because I, I know that NA players, they really love the 20, because then they, they can jump on their own wisp. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who was it again that was like... Casting, like hiding in a bush on towers. Yeah, yeah I remember. the mist downwards, staying AFK for two seconds. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Ice before he re leaps. Around the easy camp, right? On towers. Yeah, right? it was yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the player, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happened. It happened. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Anubarak again, bullseye. The running Z! Oh! 
And that's the warrior shield I saw it from Haven. 75. Right wing. Uh, sorry, a D shield on um, Lunara was used. And Avatar. Okay, still have Cocoon. You're ready this up. This has to be Diamond Hands favorite now. Machine Gun. I'm telling you, they win, this, they win the race. Wait, he... Maybe... Okay, they don't. He didn't have a uh, jump, I think. Because he didn't... He didn't spin. Yeah. No, he did. Wait, Legacy's dead. Legacy's dead. Right, 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 right. I don't know. We're going on different targets. Do they have Bunker? Yeah. Good damage by Sylph. Good damage by Rutsu. Anoop. He's fine, though. We still have Cocoon, like we... Now we... Yeah, there we go, we are going, we are going. Clean kill, it is onto Redemption Luther though. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice unstoppable by Tori. Okay, how is Kog gonna look? Like, how lethal is it? I want to know. It might be. I think the, I think tower's... the tower is dead already. Ah, oh, the tower is dead already? <laughs> Sylvanas... Uh... Yeah, Sylvanas is running. Oh yeah, you're right, they're taking... Uh... Ay, yeah, no, that? 75... Am I... In. He's fine. He's fine. Wait, the core is still taking damage. But this game is super chaotic right now. The, okay, the core is fine. She did clean up what she was supposed to. Now the race. Uh, Bradley is being uh, recalling, but I don't think she has Z yet. No, she did. She did actually. Yeah, she, came back. Yeah, she came home. Wait. Didn't she see Anub earlier? Yeah, I thought so. I don't know what happened. I, maybe she didn't. I don't know actually. I'm confused as well. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know. I think she did get it off. Uh, anyway. Kyo's looking for bullseyes, by the way. Maybe, maybe Bradling is cheating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. May maybe, maybe, maybe that's why the name Punish TV. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, do you think Liam is tilted by Genji? Like, is it like a Stukov kind of stuff where he's like, guys, we. <laughs> oh, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, Genji's a P now, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's wailing. Ah. Uh, and X Strike. We're using a lot of shit here. Zealous. Genji can get Cocoon, the poke. And they have to get immortal. They, they think they have to get immortal, but can't they chill? Yeah. Next time Genji jumps in, we'll get it. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah now they have it anyway. Alright. Diamond has. Wait, yo, uh, 30k keeps. Both are like 30% HP. Something like that. I don't know. Like, but they are low, is what I'm trying to say. So maybe... I mean, it is very... Actually, we are 24 minutes in, so these... Uh, any death timer can make a very big difference now, unless it's on Uther, because he's gonna respawn. Um, is he? Is, is he? he yeah, that was on. my next question. Is the timer already over? I don't know. It's three. No, it's isn't it five minutes. Three minutes. Three, I think. Three. I think it's three. Who knows? <laughs> Who plays Uther? We we don't we don't play this game. Yasu yeah, maybe, but <laughs> he goes divine storm on twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the keep is gone. A actually, they can maybe end, no? Yeah, 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 they can, they can, they can. Look at how tanky the boss is. Cocoon, Cocoon and six. Cocoon is in seven seconds. Yep. So should probably wait for that. And then look for a clean one shot and then call. Oh, the oh, extra reset, I think. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't full. Sorry. Wait. We're dying. Ah! A little bit too fast. We are clicking on the core now. The boss is uh, dead. The core is too healthy, I don't think this works. Oh no, I... we didn't get any shin guns on the core! I think it's... Oh no. Uh, Genji, Genji died first. Genji died first. Ay, 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 Not ay, a single ay. shin gun on the core, guys. Fuck. And that was a win that they threw away in the end. It, the core is dead 100%, no? If he gets like yeah. three shin guns and then he jumps again, I think it's just I... dead. They got a little bit too... I mean, Anu found a big stun and Genji found one entire reset and then the second X strike. Wow. Gave him like good as, like good resets as well, but uh, then he got one shot. Man, but I think you played slower. Yeah, I think you can play it slightly slower actually, yeah. I agree. The cocoon was up in two seconds, silence error was gonna come up. You ch like, Genji will threaten the core already actually. Yeah, yeah. He, he can already start working on the shields, right? When you throw, but yeah. Liam finally landed in E and there was a big one. Three heroes, I think, right? Yeah. Man, it was what a close a game. game though, actually. Really back and forth. Nice. The the team that always took the fight lost. Which is kinda hilarious. In the beginning it was always Diamond Hands trying to look for the fight and they just lost out on the entire game. Um and then when 30k started looking on Anub, 
And they didn't find the one shot because their heroes kind of suck at one shotting. They also lost the fight right after, yeah. They also, yeah, like it's 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 hilarious how the the looking team loses every yeah. single fight. Yeah, actually true. The dynamic changed quite a bit. Yo, it so close at times though. Like if you think back, bottom keep uh, Q had like twenty four HP, and uh, I think there was another hero that oh, was super yeah. low. Like Diamond Hands gave a good show. Um, yeah. Was winnable, definitely was like was very very winnable for them actually in the end. Good arrows though overall by Q. Good bull size as well. Like we've seen, um, he had some massive impact as well. He actually on bottom keep, four man arrow and then bullseye on brightwing and then Lunara leap finished uh, the brightwing off. I think so. Beautiful defense there. <clears throat> yep. Oh, uh, also, Kuro, Giant Slayer, I want to ask you, whenever you play Hanzo, do you ever go Giant Slayer? Uh, I'm a boomer, so I think I get a lot more value out of Pierce, but I think sometimes into Diablo <laughs> you should go Giant uh, Killer, but what do you think, so, actually? So, uh, I, I don't know if you know, but I started playing a lot of Hanzo, Redemption build only. Yeah, auto attack, like KP. Yeah, right? and I always go Giant Slayer, and it's, oh my god, it's... It's okay. How did... How was yeah? Now how is no one playing it in Europe? Yeah, uh, I mean, why why do the NA people know? But yeah, but they don't go redemption, right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. But I mean, I mean, in competitive, you can't really go redemption. So it's the same concept, though. Yeah. No, I mean, if you are super cl clean with your Ws, and see, I mean, it's insane, right? The damage for sure. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like every scatter with W build is. 16% max HP bonus damage. And But you go level 7 W CDR, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, sure. of course. Yeah, of yeah. Course. It's, it's super good, actually, with that build. Yeah? Half a bullet. Half a and bullet. It's, and there's no requirement for it, as in enemy needs to be full HP for that. True, true. It's just, boom. On top of, well, W deal is also, like, it, it hits fucking hard if you hit a scatter. Regardless yeah. of your uh, 16. True. Would you go? Would you go that on shrines, though, for example, or you go Pierce because of the, the objective oh, of that map? No, uh, on shrines, I also go Redemption. A uh, uh, ignore all distractions. Ah, ignore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Always, always. Yeah. But yeah. because I go Redemption, I because wait, but then you can't wait, me... wait, wait, but then you can't steal any skulls. That sounds uh, like a yellow. Yeah, but card. I steal, I steal, I steal their soul. You kill, the, you kill them. Soul. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> You just kill the heroes, and you don't need to. Play. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I mean, that but works. but it's normally in competitive. Obviously, I would probably go Q and four regardless. I I don't think. Yeah. Like in some league, what you can do is you just kill kill a minion, and then you just outrange everyone. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. You kill yeah. a minion, and you hit a wall or a fort out of range. Yeah. Even though you have no minion with you, so you like you cheat your. You become you become Blaze. You become yeah, or Sergeant. You become Hammer. an OP <laughs> hero. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's true. Actually, kind of funny to hear that you say that, but yeah. That's true. But yeah, it doesn't work in competitive. I just get farmed. You just get farmed if you do that. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean giant. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a strong talent for sure. Uh, yeah, I think like because I we play, we had two Hanzo games, right? Nick played it once and I played it once. I think on shrines for the like for the skulls, it's super good to have peers. But yeah. Yeah, uh, Nick on Tavos played Redemption. Yeah, but he played Q and Four. Ah, you should uh, tell him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I so, should. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> new coach now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think, I think, no matter what he would have picked, uh, the game was probably doomed. But yeah. I mean, if he would have had, um, ignore all distractions, he could have maybe played mid and just get the fort or top. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that sounds something that Nick would like to do as well. Yeah. Uh, like if the if if you guys know there are four bottom, then yeah. True. Nothing stops him from hitting top. True. I was probably honestly that was probably the play, but I, I still think it's very not in your favor anyway. Yeah. True. 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 Wait, why is there uh, no 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 no? We are still in the AFK screen, right? Let me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are they? And then what not? So really good job to pick this map. Let's see if Diamond Hands can do a fortune reversal. Maybe okay. Luke? Probably is uh, saying Diamond Hands played well, and I agree, actually. It was very fun to watch. 
obviously, I mean, yeah, as I mean, you predicted three or thirty k, right? So <clears throat> they are the big favorite, but I think Diamond Hands actually look good this game. For I mean, for the most part, I think there was at times where they played a little bit too scared, maybe, but they stepped it up late game and they got some very nice fights and kills. <clears throat> Yep. But to be fair, they <laughs> honestly they had fights. They, I mean, they should be winning fights with their draft. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whenever the enemies, uh, whenever thirty k is not tugging their forts and not have all cooldowns, like right when you get the shit out that, or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, then you can start. You should be able to win the fight right after. Yeah. Someone is saying, got full reset on an ult that does no damage, and uh, that's the X strike, right? I mean, yeah, and I guess it actually baited him into misplaying, because then he died. Like, if he stays, I guarantee you, they end the game if he doesn't die like that. Like, Genji shreds through the core. I mean, the X strike did also hit core in that moment, I think. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Efficiency wise, it's really, really good. Yeah. The dying part is just. It's not so good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe if you die like five seconds later, then it's already then it's fine again. But yeah, it was a bit too fast actually. Not or maybe just don't be the first one to die. Anyways, Infernal Shrines, guys. Next map. One zero thirty k. CCL playoffs winner bracket round one. There's a double elimination. And uh, they or the the playoffs will conclude on Sunday. So tomorrow and Sunday we have more matches. Exclamation mark CCL. <clears throat> Can't wait for the rematch between Oxygen and Valtard in the finals. Ooh, Pock. Same, 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 same. Another <laughs> Tessa Dala uh, play on the non Shrines. Shrines. Uh, let's see, Diablo ban. I think they banned Diablo last map as well. If I'm not mistaken. I uh, remember that too. Ooh, right wing ban. 30k adjusting a bit. But this time they are not first pick, so maybe maybe that's why. And also on this map it makes more... I think on this map right wing is definitely more threatening than on BOE. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> it is weird though, because Cure uh, really likes this right wing. He really likes it. In his uh, team, right? Yeah. Yeah. So banning it. Yeah, but have you already picked it? Like he already picked it last map, so he's he's gonna steal it again. Like if you if you leave it, I think he would just first pick it maybe. Which shows that they don't have any strat for the brighting first pick. Yeah. Which seems weird because you should have something in mind at least. Because banning it on shrines is it's really weird. I still think it's not as OP as on like maybe Garden Cursed Sky yeah. Alterac. Ooh. This is so yeah. Very, very high prior on Sylvanas. Like Wildheart did the same against us. Place mm -hmm. Tigers preparing for actually wait, Hogger's ban, sorry. Oops. Shrines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean Blaze overall just very fantastic. Also really good because Hogger is already out, so one counter. Oh, well, one lane counter is uh, already adjusted for. I mean, you probably want to draft into Leoric as Diamond Hands. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you do it in this rotate. Nah, no, probably not. You were gonna pick it later. Oh, the Ark? Ah, okay. The Ark of Anantori. Wait, the Anduin is a bit odd. Yeah. Rhaegar was in. Lucio. Actually, Lucio was in as well. But I guess. What? And also the hacker, like the hacker will lose against Blaze, kind of hard. So you have, you have to have something, like you have to win four men. Is what I'm trying to say, to the point where you can also enable your the hacker and threaten the Blaze a bit. Like Sylvanas the hacker are in a fantastic duo because they can, whenever they want, dive your fort, dig behind, and force a five before. They can always do it. Yeah, that's something the Chili Mountain likes to do. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, but oh, wait, wait, you ban Lucio here, by the place. way? Sorry uh, to interrupt you, but... Uh, you should. Uh, so like, this is, a, this is an odd ban, because... 
you have a draft that is fantastic at diving already, yeah? and then you're banning something that you can dive for free. So Diamond Hands, I think, putting the ban priority on something very wrong. Yeah, I don't like. It should have been maybe. All, it should have. It totally should have been Lucio. Lucio was a fantastic dive preventer. And like he, yeah, he's gonna cock block the yeah. Arca very. But isn't Intori adaptation player uh, anyways? And like, isn't he? Doesn't he have a different kind of play style anyway? <laughs> anyways. I mean, but. Yeah, I think uh, letting the Lucio through like this is a problem. But let's see. I mean, they must yeah. have accounted for it. They must know that they yeah. like Legacy is comfortable on the Euro. He, he can play it. Like, Lucy, one of the few supports that are also fantastic into the Haka. The only others, or like the only others, are Karazim and Rhaegar. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know about Rhaegar, but because of I the mean, Rhaegar can so... mount up and run away. Ah, yeah, 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 okay. Like you... Malf, Stuk, they're all hard stuck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. In comparison. Okay. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. <clears throat> uh, Varian and Hanzo. Okay. Well, Varian willingly picked into Lucio. And uh, I mean, Sylph, with Sylph and Hanzo, which have like kind of awkward follow up damage, it's not maybe it's smash too reliable. <laughs> a sma maybe, maybe it's a smash. And Chromie just come okay. Chromie is fantastic. You just put slowing sense on the on the thing where Varian is, and I don't think you can lose. I think this is an absolute draft if. Yeah, Blaze wins, they can't get dove, they have fantastic engage with Anub and uh, Blaze. They win slow fights. Well, that did the oh, same against us. Yeah, true, actually. They also picked the Varian into the Lucio. Yeah, but you had Tassada. So. We had Tassada, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had Tassada. Uh, yeah. What? Actually, didn't Nico went Q build, right? I don't know what, I think. Did he go Q on yeah. one? Or? Yeah. And even Q on one because Arkan and. I mean, the build itself made sense. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because. We yeah, he was talking about Arkham. auto tech build. He wanted to go auto tech build, but oh no 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 no! no. And then I said, "Shouldn't you go W for the shrine clear?" And then I guess he he was like, "Ah oh, no, let's let's go Q instead." I mean, W build is for outranging. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's I think it's easier to get the skulls because you have more reach. But I mean, yeah. At the at the end, uh, <laughs> maybe Tassada wasn't the perfect pick. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. <clears throat> but Tychus is coming back. At least like on ping, you know, and like the, the CCL meta, he, he kind of works in that kind of environment. Yeah, a, a fan favorite. <laughs> Make sure the game goes to 25 minutes. Yeah, play some Odin. Drill someone. So the only thing Diamond Hands is going for them is that they are very, very good at skirmishes. Um, like if 30k gets to have 1v1s, or if they get to have 5v5s, I think they are favored. But if Diamond Heads gets like their 2v2s, their mid-jungle fights, I think they are better. Wait, Hanzo went W on this map. I think on this map you should go Q-Build, but... Oh and no, Caesar's way! Well, that is a 4v1 that is obviously in 30k's favor. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> this is what sometimes happens to Benny as well. It's like hold, holding vision and then <laughs> like, oh, they, I guess they're all here now. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, you're on the hero that doesn't have a jump. <laughs> Unlucky, I guess. But yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I don't think he can be there level 1 with Varian. Like, he needs to... He can take the, the safe bush, you know, on the right, where his easy camp is, I think. But... Probably won't have the biggest impact. Hopefully, at least. I don't know how much they lost on bottom because Chromie is poking the wall. Maybe they did lose quite a bit. <laughs> Benny says it never happened. Yeah, true. true, true. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, actually, guys, sometimes that happens on level 20 to Benny because then he's uh, he's in the jungle, and then <laughs> oh no, they found me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, but the that's the you know ones. that's the unlucky. Yeah, and sometimes you get unlucky, but sometimes you get lucky. You don't get found, and then you have the perfect flank. Then you flank and, and you kill win the all game. of them. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's like true. that is. I would never be mad if my tank dies in that kind of way, right? No, no, no. And, and often, usually, uh... oh wait, the lick. On... Okay, wait. never mind. The grenade. Huh? What happened? 
we're digging in, but we're not actually playing the the camp, and now we duck for no reason. Oh, that's Geta. Maybe, uh, maybe it's, it's Hanzo is his hero. Yeah, boy, not Sylvanas. Was a full scatter on the Lucio there. Yeah, already 16 stacks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we borrowed it. We weren't level 4, so Varian couldn't even do anything down there, by the way. We hit the lick, but the lick got instantly uh, interrupted. Either by Lucio Q or the grenade, I don't know. Both can do it. Nintori. Regen on uh, level 1. Oh, Regen is... Um, it probably helps win against the Blaze a lot. I don't know too much about offline matchups, but I I can assume it will help a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's I think I think the talent is fine. It's just like not having the movement speed sometimes feels bad. I guess, but I don't know. Uh, Tychus is on the shrine. Yeah. Hard camp for both teams. The Hacker's gonna push out bottom. He could borrow in, depending on what Blaze is doing. Isn't the dig still on cooldown for another, what, half a minute? Mm. Maybe not that long. Maybe, maybe. Ruzzo is pushing out mid, silk that is. It's only 11 skulls, so they will get level 7, both teams. And I mean, Diamond this Hands can make a decision um, to play or not. This is a very awkward split by Static here, because they want... They ideally, they want Blaze to be top, well, because he's their shrine. Yeah. Um... So him being bot already and the rest of the squad being top four is very, very, very awkward. That okay. That pull was unnecessary, wasn't but it? But look, look at uh, Liam defending his wall while killing two heroes. <laughs> I mean, any HP he loses is worse because that makes him diveable on the next attempt. I don't think you can dive Liam. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna man up here. Come at me, and bro. And I'm not gonna try Lucio so Chrome even mid. Fucking look at Tyke. Feel bad for Pure. <laughs> it's gonna take him ages. Actually, I leak. I mean, you. Another very good scatter there, by the way. It's a hard one to hit the one that he just got. Didn't die though. Uh, the Tyke. Oh. Sorry, the Tyke's got out. I mean. Who's the shotgun on both teams? Uh, I think. Why is Hanzo not uh, playing the shrine in all this time? And why is uh, why, where's Blaze, man? I mean, Blaze was Blaze defending the wall, the others, right? Like, like, uh, Chromie can go bottom and defend. Yeah, yeah, but right? once he uh, was Lucio. there... Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, but like, that's something you have to think two minutes ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advance. <laughs> like, I think Kyo was lazy here. Yeah. But also, your Diamond Hands, Hanzo, like, can't you play it as well? Yeah, I think... Why, I think why is Diamond Hands playing it either? I think Hanzo could have gotten... starting to get some skulls, yeah. Well, I mean, XP is even. They, they should be able to pull the boss off. Oh my god, did we fight? Okay. I thought the boss is gonna come and jump outside the gate. Because Varian was still there. But uh, all good, all good. Two mats done. Wonderful. We're fine though. Uh, Caesar Seller gets pulled again. What is happening in mid? I think Liam lost his wall. Place that is. 14 cents, cocoon. Is it combustion, guys? He didn't skill yet, guys. It might. Oh, it's bunker. Mm. And he went isolation action. Oh. Wait. Never E on mounted target. I can hear Kev screaming that. You hear him too? <laughs> you mean the. what Anubarak did? Or? Yeah. Ah, but he blind eat the bush, no? No, but wasn't it Varian? Uh, maybe, maybe. No, I think, he, I think he blind eat the bush. He wanted to be uh, okay. cheeky there. Still, there, there was uh, Varian on mount, and I can hear him scream. Okay, okay. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> okay. Back I think for the bot camp, I guess they. Wait, but they don't have Pyo. <laughs> Lucy could spin down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he did burrow down, right? Uh, very strange, I don't know. Now Blaze is actually stealing it. Blaze is on it now. Ay ay ay. I think he, the Haka might be a time. Might be an awkward fight down there, depending if uh, Diamond Hands wants to. No, it's gone, it's gone. Already gone. I mean, we want the Haka top, because the, the shrine is bottom, guys. I don't know. 
Uh, we should start fixing the lanes now. He's waddling up. Waddle, waddle. Yeah. Duck has a duck. It's Ivana's might be in trouble here. Oh. We have pull, Wait. but uh, Anubarak. The Hansel arrow is coming. It. Oh, heal him! Oh, I had no. Nothing? I... Not even desperate he... prayers? Oh. Ah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. sad, no? If you're the Sylph there, yep. you... Yep. I don't know if you should pull him, because I feel like maybe he dies anyways, but then the pull is on... I don't maybe it was on CD, but... I mean, you co you commit ISO, Light Bomb, Yeah, yeah, Hanzo, I, I actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like... Please, do something. Should have been Heal. something. Taunt is good, damage is... not quite there. Ah. No desperate prayer. But Yasu would have prayed. Yeah. For sure, actually. Yasu would have light bombed it himself and stunned four enemies. <laughs> <on zone>. <laughs> <laughs> so the Sith gets out. Uh, I mean, Cocoon will be up again. So. Bottom shrine. We talked about it. The Arca is top. 30k is actually a bit late on it. Especially, especially the two ones you want to have on the shrine. Exactly those two. They will be late. Again, yeah. Blaze not on shrine. Ay, yeah, yeah, that's so awkward. Wait, Cocoon again yeah, on Sylvanas? Hacker, dig, dig, dig. Force this fight diamond hands. This is good for you guys. Come on. Ooh, the Big arrow, arrow was good. Mid. Do, do we have silence arrow? Root to go. Let's go. Yes, we do. But we don't uh, do that again. And we didn't dig either. Oh, I think it would have been a very good fight. They're forcing the worst fight of their life, and they don't get punished at all. They go, they, they go ahead. Wait, now they push like top. Arrow, okay. you, are you kidding me? Liam, Liam, they're coming for you, bro. He knows, he knows. He's sniffing it. Oh, actually, spider senses by him. Perfect. Ah, uh, they... Yeah, they, I think that should have been a good fight for Diamond Hands. The cocoon was deep, I think. It was a terrible fight for 30 k for us. But absolutely, and and the God Arrow is well behind. Yes, 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 yes. Full backline got hit. Uh, Sylph eating out, ulting to late. Lucio gets the high five and spear everyone out. Okay. The shrine is it still playable? Twenty five skulls. I guess. Oh, nah, they still have Odin as well. Yeah, it's rough. Maybe the Arca will get some value on top. I remember we co <laughs> when we played shrines. I remember we said like, "Ah, oh yeah, Copen can trade keep for keep," <laughs> and then we lost our top keep. And then I check bottom, and he killed like the wall. <laughs> it's like, yeah, almost actually, <laughs> not quite. Sometimes it's so hard to to read yeah, 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 how much yeah, you yeah. actually get. And yeah, how much yeah, you I, know, yeah. I know. And like, it also depends on how fast the, the opponents are killing stuff, right? Because then they can rotate again. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no offense, Copen. It was your team griefing you, but like 100. percent But it was still, I think, the right play for you to to just push. I don't think you had defending at all. <laughs> uh, and I mean, the hacker yeah. pushed up here, right? Uh, he's actually getting ganked. Yeah, yeah. Like the hacker digging in into five enemies just to defend it. It always is terrible. Yes. Can we save him? Yeah. Undo and pull once more. Getting someone out of uh, harm's way. Mm. Wait, Hansel will be in trouble. Yeah, Yo, boy. Hansel, you gotta run, bro! Uh, that was an easy kill. <laughs> Liam. Look at the light bomb! Yasu! Banka, oh. Banka, yeah. Wait, uh, Q. Rutsu. Oh! Why you wait? What? Rotsu? Okay, it's fine. Caesar Seller was there. He knew it. He knew he would uh, the cleanup crew. Can we kill top four with Sylph uh, trade? Yes. But Rutsu doesn't even need to use Silence Arrow and doesn't need to panic a second E either. He it's just so. Be in the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the three bottom. Ay, ay, ay. That's why I never go uh, double E uh, on 13. Because that's <laughs> how it looks when I play it as well. And then you're tilted by yourself. Because uh, you know how ugly it was. <laughs> but yeah. They got the Happens. kill, they got the fort, they lost spot and fort obviously in return. 60 versus 16 though, where's the next shrine? Mid. Blaze is gonna light it up on top, we can see it. Oop. Gets the fort. 
Oh, interesting. Uh, Blaze level 7 is a spell power reduction. Which... I mean, both Hans and Sylvanas are a lot are very spellcast heavy. But both of them also rely a lot on the basic attacks. Wait, which hero? Sorry, I didn't see. The Blaze level 7 has ah, Blaze spell 7. power reduction instead of AA slow. Ah, yeah. Interesting, actually. And Hans and Sylv, I mean, they're both weird, right? Because they're like AA spellcasters. Yeah. I okay. I think auto attack speed slow was better this game, but you can probably I think make so an, too. okay. You can probably make an argument for both, but like if if you ask the opponent's range carry, they probably <laughs> yeah. yeah they probably tell you attack speed slow is worse for them. It's also twenty times more reliable to hit. I yes. think Q is very very. The, it's more so you hit it on the target you want to kill. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's say he would hit it every time. Probably the backline would tell you, yeah, attack speed slow. I can't play the game anymore. <laughs> like, get me out. Of, <laughs> yes. Get me out of here. <laughs> Well, the spell power, like, yeah, it sucks, but at least... Remember uh, remember the patch with Rhaegar and Johanna, and you play Greyman into it? Yes, uh, lovely. Oh, that was so very, funny. Very fun, very fun. <laughs> uh, both teams will be on time for the mid-shrine. Chromie has a trap. Good so... Okay, never mind. No, no, that is good. That is good. Ah, that is good. The Akka is pushing bottom, right? So he can look to borrow in, maybe. Oh, he's borrowing on the top side. Defensive borrow. Oh no! no! Yo! I'm saying it again, that's why you don't go double E. <laughs> oh, what was that? Straight. I mean, that was a rundown, actually. Now every. Oh, yeah, I mean, now it's. And Anduin is trying to save the hacker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe Lucio dies here. Ah, uh, no. Okay. I think after. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Sylvanas is not their hero, because on map one we also saw very weird things happening with Sylvanas. So maybe we just True. don't first pick it, for example. Ah, uh, that was that's <laughs> rough, man. That was really rough. That was really ugly, actually. Is that game though? It. It might be. No. Probably they is. They have twenty. As Yo, yeah, no, they're I'm gonna have twenty as well, actually. Ah. <laughs> That's a very sad, uh, very sad ending on this map. Yeah, they don't even stop, they just keep going. The Punisher will be there. 20 is almost locked in. No Odin, but I don't think it matters. Oh. Yeah, she, he didn't get he, he didn't get his 16 off, by the way. Like, Sylph died with a 16. Punisher jumped. Have to go now. Yeah, but... 95, it's... It's just over. Can't do anything anymore. At least I got one KDA. Who died? Tychus. Ah, uh, that's that's. I mean, well, that's very sad, right? What happened there? Like Sylph just instantly dying. Didn't get so the I think uh, I think. 30k had overall the easier draft to play, but I think they really grieved their macro. Like, not having Blaze play the first two shrines was, I think, a terrible mistake, map movement-wise. But I got away with it because Diamond Hands also had no idea how to tackle it either. I th Honestly, I'm very disgusted about how they both played macro. Like, both who, drafts, Who do you want to send way, bottom, though, right? Because if he... I, Chromie and... Uh, yeah, but Blaze I mean, everyone. Everyone. Yeah, Blaze everyone. wins 1v1. Okay. Ah, you mean Blaze alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, I get have it. Tychus, Lucio, Chromie, Anu match what the others do. That's uh, it's yeah. as easy as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lucio actually will very much find them very early, so you know exactly what they the speed, do. Speed, yeah. That's true. Yeah, I, I get that. That is right, actually. Probably should have should have done that. Looked like Sven Silvanas. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he didn't, right? And he didn't press the 16. He got stunned and then he was dead because obviously he was alone on the flank. Like his team was, I mean, Darka was there, but couldn't help him. And uh, I mean, uh, very, I mean, disconnected, I think, overall, like that team fight for them. And then when you die like that, it's the fight is instantly lo lo lost. You, you All you can hope for is that your team is running. Like the moment that happens, everyone has to flee. Everyone for himself, because it's 0% that you turn anything around at that moment, I think. Like you can't do anything anymore. Like it was so bad that you just, you have to give the objective and defend at home. And for that, you need the people alive, yeah. right? But then they all died. 
Like, Anduin tried to pull someone out. I don't think you can do that. You... That was... Yeah, yeah, just run. I have no idea how... Like, you have to be very unaware of how much you are in trouble yourself. Yeah, like, you... I think as a healer, this is the most important thing. Like, who can you help and who do you just fucking let die? Yeah. I mean, they... the hacking was not savable. Because I think uh, yeah. if everyone gets out, I mean, they're still in a bad position, but I think they can continue to play the game because 30k wouldn't get 20, I think, because they got a lot of like kills and extra XP from it. But yeah, I mean, it was was rough. It was rough the moment that happens. I mean, even if they played for 20, they probably have to... I mean, they kind of can't. They, they have to get up and then... They Maybe they got 39, because... right? If you get one kill and then you chill 39, you wait for Odin cooldown again? Maybe something like that would happen? Who yeah. knows? It's hard to predict. But Yes, and because the hacker still, like, if you're too greedy, I mean, they can always push out the other lanes. Yeah. Like, you I mean, can't was that, but yeah. Fully, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 but um, if you give the opponents enough time to actually de-push lanes that, and only one lane is the threat where the option comes in and then it's a 5v5, it's Fine. Yeah, I guess. Or, yeah, or yeah. not as bad. Not as like, bad. If you get yeah, a kill, it's, it's not as bad. Yeah. It's really, it's probably better to get shrine as fast as possible, and then yeah, don't I give mean, your opponents time to fix other lanes. It's not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, if everyone dies, it's bad. Just, yeah, they, yeah <laughs> it, it is bad. And if everyone dies, then they just end the game. We saw that, right? There was no way they could defend it. Uh... So I think letting through the Lucio was a big problem. Yeah. Um. But, I mean, we also just fucked up big time in team fights. We got picked a few times, right? Uh, we actually... Yeah, the the one in mid, the Cocoon in mid, I think if they were more decisive there, they can actually get a good fight out of it. Like, if the Haka borrows the moment you get Cocooned, the arrow was good, maybe Wailing Arrow. But, but what did Thetic think that this was a good fight? They had... I don't, I don't even get it. They had priority of the ops. I mean, sometimes you them cocoon, out, right? Then why, then why do you cocoon, like... No, no, yeah, yeah, but you, if you want to go for a kill, yeah. you don't cocoon that... You don't co you don't cocoon the kill target in that then, moment. Uh, it, it doesn't work. you give them time, right? You give them infinite time to help. Yeah. Eight, you give them eight seconds, and they have Anduin and Hanzo arrow, and... Yeah. It's not pretty. Yeah, I agree, actually. And he probably cocooned, and then he's, like, asking, can we do it? And then, I mean, I don't know, like... You should, probably everyone should say no, just play the shrine, like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, they tried to follow up on it, right? But you are right, actually. Uh, if you cocoon there, you give them a lot of time to set up any any kind of help. <clears throat> uh, why did we go to game 5? Because we played uh, bad on map uh, 3 and 4, you know? <laughs> and honestly, map 5 wasn't the prettiest either, but we managed to, to win it in the end. You didn't watch it? Yeah, you can always check the VOD here on Twitch, actually. And uh, I will upload it to YouTube, obviously. <clears throat> Anubarak on ping? Yeah, Kettle, Kettle was lagging a bit. It's fine, though, it's fine. They are leading to zero. And we actually have a five-minute break. Um, before the next map. And I'll be happy for yeah. five minutes as yeah. well. Sure. Can't blame. Pe yeah, Rutsu cannot blame the ping. I mean, it was just misplay, right? Like, individual misplay. Like, it happens. It, I mean, it <laughs> shouldn't happen, but it does happen. And he was so far away from his support that he couldn't help him either. <clears throat> Do you think CCL teams have uh, grown better and better so ping matters even more now? I... Uh, yes, I think the answer is yes, yeah. Throughout, like, season one to four, you know, it's like four seasons already, people have been scrimming quite a bit. And DNA players, uh, they get more and more experience to play against people on ping, right? Like, that's something you learn as well. Like, what do you get away with and so on. So, yeah. I think I think it, it is a bit harder than, for example, in Season 1. 
Because I think for us Europeans, because we were grinding on an A, right? We got, we got you. I mean, I got used to the ping rather quickly. I'd say I don't know how it was for everyone else, but I was at the beginning of CCL always playing only on an A. Mm. This season not so much because it was very hard to find games, but obviously we scrimmed a lot on an A, right, throughout the season. <coughs> I swear, I thought you went insane when you saw the Dragon Strike pick. I mean, it's a team decision as well, right? I did ask my team. Everyone said Dragon Strike. And uh, I could see it being valuable in that game. So, yeah. I mean, I did play it. <laughs> Guys, I, I played a decent amount of Dragon Strike uh, already, right? This is not the first time. But most of it is happening in scrims, right? Or, yeah. <clears throat> I do like my arrow a lot more, but it's it's okay. Like I I can I actually, you know, I actually learned that Dragon Strike can be very good. <laughs> Before that, I was I was certain uh, there should be no there should be no uh, draft or gameplay where it's better. But I yeah. Sometimes <laughs> falling sword, yeah. I think I think falling sword. Yeah, I don't know if falling sword is ever the right. Pick. I mean, that's like five percent of the games where falling sword I think is the right pick, but usually don't do it. Don't do it. Ah. Uh. Was it Nick who suggested? Nah, I mean Nick played a lot of Dragon Strike anyways already, right? I think in Storm League often it's better anyways, because it's like raw damage. And you, when you have a good arrow, you need your team to follow up and, you know, do something with it. So in Storm League, I think Dragon Strike... I mean, honestly, both ultimates work fine. Like, Hanzo is very strong in Storm League anyways, but... Um, I mean, it was, like, as I said, more like a, like a whole... Like, we were talking... Talking about certain matchups, Hanzo into Blaze, Hanzo into Leoric, Hanzo with Leoric, Hanzo into Mephisto. And in some cases, Dragon Strike can be very strong, Hanzo into Medivh as well. Like the portal, you see it there left and right, and then you shoot the, the Dragon Strike through. It can be very strong. Obviously, you can also land a five-man arrow when all, everyone is taking the portal. Uh, it's like an argument for both ults, I think, oftentimes, but... On 20, for example, I mean... Well, honestly, Bullseye is super OP, and and it's it will often win you the game. So, mm, I I don't know. I think bo uh, both is both both can be really good. Usually, Arrow is probably better though, because you also get Bullseye, which and I think Bullseye is impossible for the opponents to play around, if the Hanzo knows what he's doing. Basic, almost point and click stun. <laughs> if I think if you. If you use it well, but yeah, let's uh, let's not talk too much about Hanzo Ten. Let's talk about Leviathan, I think. What's coming up next? Which is a summon for Final Fantasy Seven. That's where my name I mean, comes from. But eh, in yeah. his natural form, Bahamut was a massive dragon, approximately 180 feet. They're talking. <clears throat> let's talk about Shogun, Bahamut. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let me see if Dino is back. No, not yet. He's, I don't think he's back yet. But soon, soon, guys. <clears throat> Did you hear, Hazu? Price pool is 100% plus 10k now. Wow. Um, <clears throat> wait. Are you... Uh, <laughs> is that sarcasm? I'm not sure. But uh, uh, Wisdom Gaming is supposed to increase it by 10k, yeah. <laughs> Given that the LAN is not happening. <laughs> Range Shiro has two stuns. One shots me from 30 screens away. <laughs> uh, Han I mean, Hanzo. I uh, he can be very good. But there are some... I'm telling you, there are some Apex Predators in the Nexus that love to play against Hanzo. But yeah, I mean, obviously. <clears throat> uh, 
Ah, but I, I can tell you, I can tell you if the players could choose. Probably almost every single player in the playoffs would have chosen the LAN over the extra prize money, I think. That's what I can... I, I mean, that's at least my take on it. I, I think a lot of players would agree, actually, in the, in the playoffs. But, uh, I mean, it's not our choice, right? It's not like we had any, uh, any saying. Like, it's just... Uh, yeah, they cancel the LAN, and then, as a player, you accept that, right? There, <laughs> you have no option, right? I don't know. <laughs> You're just playing, right? <clears throat> yeah, I heard that. Obviously, that is, uh, yeah, out of everyone's control as well, but I heard that, actually. <clears throat> Are they still... Dragonshire, but we can continue talking about our anticipation for these two teams here, Justin, because uh, we've talked about top lane, but... Is there something that Diamond Hands, in the last two games you've seen, is there something that... Okay, I think Dragonshire is coming up, by the way, guys. At least that's what I think is going to happen. So it's 2-0, 30k. Map 1 was back and forth. Map 2 was pretty one-sided with an absolute escalation in the last team fight. <clears throat> but yeah... Let's have a LAN in Europe then. Yo, guys, we had Masters Clash in Paris. It's not It's not like that's not a, not a thing, right? But yeah. And we will have one in Miami as well. Uh, exclamation, in fact, exclamation mark, uh, Miami, if you haven't seen it yet. Did we win? Yeah, we won 3... I wanted to say 3-0, that's a lie. 3-2. <laughs> barely, barely. Honestly, I think we deserved. Uh, we d I don't know if we deserved to lose, but I think three two. Yeah, we got bruised, <coughs> big time. We had a very clean one and two, like the first two maps. The third one was okay. The fourth was a disaster, and the fifth was something between a disaster and a very clean W. I don't know. Dragon should have been a win. Yeah, I think Dragon Shire was winnable. I agree. I think maybe not ideally, like the draft wasn't ideal, but I think it was very much winnable. But it it didn't feel that easy, right? <clears throat> Why are the Europeans switching so much? Uh, because a lot of the players can't travel, or I don't have time to travel. That's why we see a lot of roster changes in Europe. And then the biggest one can choose, eats, eats the smaller ones, and then you know everything, there's gonna be roster changes basically once, once that is happening. All right guys, Dragonshire. I can grill some good sausages. The Grillmeister with the Bratwürsten. Yeah, yeah. The Germans, they can do that. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see. Wait, actually, Diamond Hands chose the map, guys. Because they have second pick here. And I think Diamond Hands is also. It's the best map, actually, Dragonshire. Ooh, Madara first picked Sylvanas. Picked it away. To be fair, maybe that's good. Diamond Hands, Sylvanas, uh, both uh, map one and two have been uh, a bit of prob a bit problematic, I'd say. Like uh, we we saw a, a couple of ins here and there. Let's see how they respond. 
Is it? Do you? Do they pick Rhaegar? I feel like the NA team is gonna pick Rhaegar here, guys. Ah, Monk. Okay. I like that, actually. I like the Monk pick. I appreciate it. <clears throat> you guys put cheese into your coffee? That that sounds like a that can't be real. <laughs> yeah, as Benny said, he never heard about it. I feel like that sounds like a lie. <laughs> the other guys picked Rega. There it is, guys. There it is. Legacy is gonna be capable, well, maybe, of pressing Ancestral in time. Because that is, I think that's the most important thing about Rega, by the way. You have to get the Ancestral off. And if the opponents don't have healing reduction, it's actually very strong. Not randomly biting people? Yeah, 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 but... <laughs> yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful of biting people. I'm pretty sure Legacy knows that, though. <clears throat> Alright, Zaratu got banned, by the way, guys. Respecting Cure. We get Lunara and Dehaka. We could see last pick uh, Genji or Tracer here for Rizzo. Honestly, I kind I would kind of like it. I think I like it. Obviously, we don't know yet uh, what Liam and Q are picking here, but yo, hello, uh, Dragonshire is coming up by the way, and Diamond has picked the map, and the draft is ah the thrall. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> Tracer or Genji now. Maybe you pick it anyways. I think... It, I think you... You think Thrall counters Tracer or Genji? Do I think that, or do you think that? Do you think that? No, I actually... I don't think that. But that's what Cure is doing, right? When he sees... Yeah. Uh, yeah. And <clears> and <throat> I think that if you pick Genji or Tracer here, you just play very macro-heavy. Like, you, you, you don't have to run into the Thrall and fight him. I mean, you can. Like, sometimes... Just kill him anyways, but like Dragon, yeah. especially on Dragonshire, I feel like the map can be like split very Thrall, well. Yeah, Thrall should be very weak on Dragonshire, especially early game. Oh, someone deceit here, and we saw Rexa last pick by the way. That is Roots, so I think playing it. But let's see. Diamond Hands special. Not trying to go for macro, just yeah. trying to go for I don't know what their style is really. I mean, it's gonna be Flare, like Rexa bot lane with Flare in the triangle bush. Oh, yeah, that is such a Wait, discussion. and they have the Wisp? No? Don't, what is that? That feels like it's overlapping. Right? They have a I mean, Lunara you have one well. bot side, one top side, and then ah, yeah, infinite don't play the game. You have, you have two watchtowers, basically. <laughs> and you can't interact with them, either. I mean, with the Wisp, somewhat. But... Yeah, with the Flare, you can't, actually. <laughs> the Flare is pretty OP, honestly. Yeah, kind of, it is, right? It is. No cooldown and very like the area is very big that it reveals. Mm. <laughs> oh my, do you remember old Sonic Arrow, the radius? Yes, yes. Oh my god. You You saw the entire lane. You did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I remember actually we like back then during HEC, we always gave Blizzard the feedback that the Hanzo E is too strong, right? And I remember that we always told them that it shouldn't deal damage, so it cannot interrupt uh, objectives right, or channeling processes, right? But, they, but that's they, insane. But yeah, but it I makes mean, it that's super such broken, a good idea. No? <laughs> and they never did it. They never did it. No, they just Man. yeah, they reduced the the, I mean, the vision radius a bit. But, but I mean, it, it it takes away the fantasy of like you know you know how you yes. sometimes get those sonic think, arrow kills. I think that's why and taking all, away that it hurts. Yeah, 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 and I I guess like. Almost every skill shot in HOTS deals damage. Like there's almost nothing that if you if you can press it that it won't deal damage, right? So maybe that's that was like a, they just didn't want to do it. Scouting drone. Yeah, back then we had scouting drone as well, guys. Reina and Malf. I mean, what m might work is that you make the Sonic Arrow like a weird damage over time effect. 
So it wouldn't and interrupt the channel? So it wouldn't interrupt? Because... Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Like, is there a single ability that works like that? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. But it's, I mean, make, make it a first time thing. I don't it's know. It's too like. hard to... Co I mean, now, if we won't... <laughs> it's yeah, too there's hard not, to go. not gonna be any changes anymore, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, but actually, you really... But I remember, we because... Yeah. I mean, and HOTS was uh, slower back then as well, right? Because everyone had like less movement speed. Oh yeah. It 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 felt uh, like the, I remember Sonic <clears throat> Arrow was like a big talking point, but yeah, I mean, it's fine, it's fine. We got used to it, guys. That reminds me as well. Uh, like that probably nerfed heroes like Kalthas and Jaina and Kedusad, I guess. By increasing the speed. The move speed. Yeah. And smaller ring hitbox. And like, I remember. Yes. Yes. I was. I had a time where I wanted to learn Kalthas. And I was really, and I was thinking about, like, I went into try mode and I was trying to hit um, DQ reliably. So in theory, it has, like, really good poke if you hit it reliably. But it yeah. doesn't work. The, it, you always rely on your opponents either being slowed or running into it. Yeah. You cannot hit it reliably on your own. That is true, yeah. Unfortunately, I never tried it back then. If it was a thing back then, then cool. I actually don't remember 100 percent, but yeah, you are right actually. But now it's so much worse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, potentially last map for the night, guys. 30k <laughs> is leading to zero. So we have Flair. Savannas. So what is with Savannas? Oh, uh, w stack. <laughs> Nick. Uh, but why on, on Dragonshire of all maps? Nick was doing that in one of the games. I remember. Yeah, but maybe on Tomb or I don't know what's guy, but not on Dragon. You don't roll, do you? Uh, he's gonna stack on Misha. Misha. No, I don't know. I. Let's see. I think he's feeling himself already. I mean, they're leading to zero. Madara. Give this man. Uh, wait, who's playing what here? Rut so Rutsu is on Lunara. That means Nintori is on Dehaka and uh, Yeah Boy is playing Rexa. I think. Yeah, probably. Well, they have permanent vision, but they can't play Nintori. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so. You can see the opponents, but you can't do anything about <laughs> it. That's true, actually. <laughs> Uh, and that will get better the more levels you get. I think as soon as you turn 7 sided, leap, or I don't know, mm. then you have the damage to actually threaten. Yeah. And up to this point, I guess, you don't die because you have permanent vision. Minimap DLC. Hopefully, an enabled. The, uh, the minimap hack deals. Uh, no, no, vision hack. Vision hack, yeah. Enabled. Yeah. Ironically. Hard camp, uh, pretty late by Diamond Hands, but I think they're doing it together, so they will have it. Now, honestly, maybe that's even good. Like, the timing might be uh, beneficial for them. Because they are the team with less clear on the top side, I think. Actually, the Arka, he is uh, dead, no? Can he borrow out? Hey, you gotta borrow out before Muradin is there. I guess uh, I get that. Anyway. So the enemies got the hard camp first. Rexa controls bot. I guess in his head he gets top and digs mid and gets the Dragon Knight. Uh, it sounds very optimistic though, uh, right? That sounds like the opponent's I mean that, Yeah, but if that's his way of thinking, then I allow the death, you know? Uh, Otherwise, why even be there? Uh, if he was greedy, then I'm all in for it. Yeah. Oh, Q is stacking level 4. Wait, isn't... Your... Hit him, no? Nintori? <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, Daka's in again <laughs> this time, together with Legacy. Legacy probably bit someone, so he dies here. Yeah, boy! No, he lives! Okay, oh my god. I thought he's gonna get IQ out. All good, all good. Honestly, Daka died again. It's a, it's a shame. And Caesar Wait, said Anubis. It. It's Anubis also that. Oh, no. the Q was massive. Yeah. Gets him out. Wait, Madara! Wanted the W stacks, he gets a fist instead by Monk. Pock. And the uh, top lane is a clown fiesta. Dehaka um. died, Boros back, dies again. We trade uh, two other heroes. 
Oh, look at the thrower quest. He somehow missed on the Misha, apparently. Got reset. <laughs> yeah, Misha movement too clean. Yeah. It starts to, he's very killable. Yeah, no mana. Hey, yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. Unless he hits a three-man root. Oh. Yeah. I think that's the only way you live there. You need to reroot the... Actually, maybe it's... Uh, stun itself, but I think it was Oom, no? Uh, he pressed E. E, then he had no mana for root. Okay. Oh, did he have? I uh, maybe I don't I feel like wrong. he. I don't, know, um, I don't know. I feel like he had exactly <laughs> enough mana. Uh, whatever. Uh, he, he died. He died. All right. Uh, bottom Ooh. hard camp apparently. Here. The hacker can borrow. So uh, time. Yeah. Go ahead. Wisp should be top. Always scouting for the hacker. Yeah. Because Rex is bottom, I'm Rutsu. I mean, he used it because Not they were on the camp, right? I guess, but yeah. After Afterwards, he should probably reposition it. I mean, didn't they do the camp because Thra was dead and they had Pryo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind, <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of. And wait, yeah. so this Rex are seven? Oh, wait, another oh, kill! Again? Hoi, hoi, hoi! Must have been a good initiation by Anubarak, I think, maybe. Mm hmm and then, yeah, Karazim just... Man, Karazim is... It's a good hero. a hero. I saw Banana picking it every game as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Yasu was jealous, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yasu... Uh, yeah, but, but Banana is... He always wants to play like, Alex Strazo. When I gave him a choice between X heroes and Karazim, it's Karazim. Yeah, I mean, it is a very good hero, I think. If I ask him about Rega, he... He refuses. Ah, so he, he <laughs> yeah. I mean, Yasu hates this as well, right? <laughs> but I, I don't, I don't get it. I think Rega is still pretty good. But so you think the supports are in thing? Yeah. Maybe. No, I, th I think people don't actively utilize ancestral enough. Mm. Okay, yeah. Like you, like you can use it like a D shield. Be aggressive. AF, you have a second health bar, right? Yeah. And then if you, and then Rega also allows is allowed to bite in if you win oh, the fight. Uh, Muradin is in trouble here. The mm. Oh, he gets seven sided. Uh, sorry, he gets the ancestral off before. Actually, the cocoon was on on Savannah's, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Dark they... duck for yeah. no reason whatsoever. Yeah, we've seen that before. <laughs> At least uh, he's not dying here, I guess. Ah, oh. good attempt. Uh, this is a very random fight. I brawl. I leak? Oh no, he's gonna die! And I just said he won't. No, he's fine, he's fine. Ooh, okay, Diamond Heads, good initiation, so. Oh, a lot uh, of damage. Or like in general, Diamond Heads are taking really good fights, and Thetic, I think, are. desperate. I don't think. Yeah, the Thrall pick, uh, kinda. problematic so far, right? Because they didn't go into Tracer or Genji, and he got farmed on the lane twice. Yeah, Rexa. Doesn't. Is, does Thrall really lose this hard against Rexa? I, I, think, I think you should just you should just hit the Misha and it should be fine. But uh, that's what I th think as well. I don't know what happened. I mean, there is a v very big gank threat. Like both Monk and yeah. Anubarak are super fucking scary. If you are if you're yeah. hitting Misha, and you get you get body blocked as well, right? Afterward, like if you get stunned and he's behind you and so on, so you might just die. So maybe he was respecting it quite a bit. Yeah, the the flare probably cheats a lot then. Yes, and then. I mean, he respected it, but he still died anyways two times after, so it's been a bit of a rough game for him. Okay, Sylph already at 81 stacks. Uh, somehow. Yeah. The Haka might get a lick here. Rega is... Okay, they found him. Uh, yeah, Yo, Misha's, Misha's uh, can, we say, can we show top? Thank you. <laughs> Irel. Jumps out. A lot of stacks? Yeah, yeah, Sylvana is actually. That is a decent amount of stacks, yes. Oh, she used the ult. You read that is. Actually, I think you shouldn't use your ult there. Your Rega was with you. I don't think you can die. But. Yep. Yeah, maybe. Obviously, as an observer, it's easier to say than in the heat of the battle. They get the dragon out of it. It's actually pretty big. Pure was on the easy camp, so. Oh! <laughs> He's gonna stack on the dragon, that's why he picked it! Oh. <laughs> Look at him! 
Wait, who's that? Liam? No ult, no ult. Keep that in mind. Hey. He used it. Oh, oh the we are... Uh... The Dragon has already half HP and it hasn't done anything yet. Demon are not playing well around it. No, and we didn't get the kill on top. And we are inting the Dragon. Ay, ay, ay. And we're giving Thrall free pass back to bot lane. Oh god. Is he dead though? Clean! No, it's fine. No, it's, it's the most cleanest uh, rotation ever. <laughs> yeah, by Thrall, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we make that rotation on Irel, we have to be, like, we... I don't know, we need to kill him, right? Because otherwise, we, now we didn't get anything. No structure right. damage. I think they're playing... Especially if you get the Dragon Knight, I think it's just play towards bot. And have the Hacker dig bot if you... And force a 5v4 with Dragon Knight. Like, it's, I think, so... Irel, Irel, cool, once cool. again, we can, we see it on the minimap. Yeah, I know Misha is dead, but what about the Irel? Uh, and also, the hard cam is Wait, very important. We, uh, uh, maybe she, maybe she was way. almost out, yeah. Then it was a good cocoon. Heck yeah. And we got the kill. Because of the cocoon, we got Wait, to see the kill, big. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Rexa. Oh. Three... That is not big. Rexa, how? Silence on Rexa, uh, on Rega. He's fine, though. Thrall. Kek wait, cure! Ancestral. Ancestral? Oh my... And everyone. Uh. Oh, that was big. Ancestral healing. Oh, that was so big, actually. And then he hit a four-man root. Mm. And wow. 30k getting away with a lot uh, for some reason. Like, Rexa should never have died. Honestly, no idea how. I got the my hacker control out stayed, of the gate, but yeah. Uh, the hacker should have stayed top and pushed up. Yet they force a 4v4 fight in their hard cam. It was close, to be honest, but... Man, I mean, it's, it's a risk yeah, to take, and then, it, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's well fired, but you didn't even have to, like, the hacker could have destroyed the top ward. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Yeah, Copenhagen would have got the keep. If they quasi as well, for sure, 100%. Uh, Anup is camping top. We see hard camp for both teams. One shrine each. Wait, Lunara is thinking about 16. Is there anything you wanna be spicy with, Brutzo? I think you just go Q, but... Oh, Misha! Oh. Stacking Zeus even further. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, I think this is the, 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 the point that Sylvanas needs. The 130-ish stacks. Uh, to justify the talent, I think at least that's what I remember Kev was talking about. So what are we doing? Uh, the Haka is top, we could try we to not force. not let Sylph free hit us? Yeah, we could try to force, <laughs> but uh, we are not. Isha is dead again. Okay. That's yeah, I don't know. Aspect. I don't know what to say, Dino. <laughs> like, what is going on here? What's but, but why is Sylph allowed to free hit 24/7? Why are we like in vision like this I, in the lane? I uh, Diamond Hands is a bit AFK again. Hmm. Yeah, but Sylph shouldn't be allowed to do this. Or Regar. This is so not okay. Yeah, and Kukuna. And now they both yeah, die, yeah, bro. This is, this is, you are right, actually. Now they are both uh, dead. Rega and Sith, but they might get the drag. No, no, no. Okay, nice. Legacy? He's doing one more. Oh. One more uh, circle. Kazu, what are they doing? Yo, bro, I don't know. After Sylvanas <laughs> out, like, she was like, okay, now we bad. just killed the fort, right? What what, should, what could go wrong? Well, the is fucking burrowing behind you, and then you get cocooned because you're 2v4. 1v4 in that, in that matter, then. This is very big for Diamond Hands. They will get uh, structural value here and maybe another Dragon Knight. We have seven, no, ten seconds. Rexa. That's is the weirdest faint death ever. We missed isolation, by the way, so we can't kill anything. Misha can hold the point. Uh, I have to help Misha out a bit, though. It, no, I think it's fine. No, 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 no. And Lunara is already um, getting top value. Let's go, Ritsu, the truce of Pusha. Is the dragon gonna give stacks game. again? Yeah, look at him. He's like, no, go away, Sylph, please. Don't do that. I had a Stomni game the other day. I played ranged. 
I went to the I went to gank the Zolo laner. The Zolo laner ran away. I was the Zolo laner after. And then the Zolo laner flamed me. Wait, he was dying. Whoop. Man, I yeah, boy. He almost Zolo killed I mean, him, right? The thrall pick. The thrall pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not working out here. No, it's it's actually rough. It's rough. He doesn't have Brightwing either to assist him in these moments. Honestly, it's probably just be him being very greedy as well. Like. Wait, Kettle! Lick! Seven si- Hey, Kettle dies as well! Oh, no! Isolation to Africa. Maybe he's still there? No. Oh, no. Not like this. Yeah, yeah boy. Uh, yeah, Kettle baited them. Yeah, Clearly. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we kill the gate for him? Or not? Oh, we don't even cleanse either. No, Kettle was in set. Oh my. It's Kettle was not a yeah, huge play. The bait, what a man. Splendid performance. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, is Heavy dead as well? No. Wait, he might be. I mean, he is, yes, 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 yes. He's yes, just yes, walking yes. into them. Oh! Oh my god, what just happened? What? What a terrible day to have eyes, isn't it? Oh my god. So we we missed the... So no one inter interrupted Muradin's jump and we missed the isolation on him, right? And th maybe there was more, like, if you if you checked the replay, exactly what people were doing, but... I mean, basically it was the ISO missing and they didn't get the jump interrupt. Yeah. Which was vital. And then after the jump not interrupting, they still went in. They kept going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at that point, you have to... You have to be content, like, okay, we fucked up. Hit the fourth instead. Because you get minus 20... Like, you lose... Wait, are they ending? No. no. But is he red? Oh my god, here I'm almost getting gre uh, scared by the claw defense. By the stones, yeah. Uh, he does have unstoppable on 20 though, right? So he can actually tank Yeah, that. but he, he jumped in with the unstoppable, so he would've. Mm, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Terrible day to have eyes. Honestly, Diamond Hands can still play this game though. They have 20 root on Rexa now. Rega should be. I mean, he has to be very careful, basically. Or instantly Alt R the moment uh, they are coming for him. Because he's gonna be rooted if he's in vision. They can cocoon Thrall or Muradin to dive through. Yeah. So, like, Diamond Hands has. Uh, they have pot very good potential here to, to still uh, yeah. come back into this. Yeah, that's 27. Seven. Yeah. And they do still have it's, it's insane how Pertic still didn't lose a fort. To me. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's crazy. Two dragons, right? Two dragons. And the first one was donation, the second one didn't get much either. Pushing top. I'm sorry, mm, okay, it's fine. And what? Ah, he. He took the bottom shrine, right? Yeah, yeah, that's why he... Yeah. He's in... Mind control missed. Spent. Used 75 the... Sp what is the CD on it? 60 seconds or something? Actually, I don't then know. Then that's not worth maybe it, I'm it? Ma Maybe I'm making it up, maybe I'm lying. 60 seconds, yeah. And then that's not worth it, but he just did. <laughs> anyway. He was hoping he would get mind controlled and then... The, he, maybe, he, yeah, bait him. Yeah, maybe he just... Then, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, then it, would, it, then it could have been a good bait. Then it could I, have been I, a good bait, I get yeah. that. Can we kill uh, top four if we are diamond hands? That would be very good. Isha sniffs out the bush, finds five heroes. Could have maybe checked it with Flair instead, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah. Mm. I mean, what do we have to wisp and Flair for? Yeah. It's probably top set though, the player. Yeah, yeah. Probably, he probably was on CD, I would assume. So we didn't kill top 4. Ah, oh, we got my control! <laughs> oh no! I mean, it's very hard to react to the mind control. Um, oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, we could have rooted on that if you were Rexa. And Mora was probably dead too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but mind control. It flies at the speed of. It's a Seeker missile. There's nothing he could do. Liam. Yeah. Walks on point. Misha is gonna die once more. And this should be a dragon for. Actually, huh. did he borrow top? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. no, he's gonna die, no? Run, bro. I have a very bad feeling for you. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is about the best fight I'm ah! going to get. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. Thank um, God Heavy is uh, <laughs> cleansing the people here. Yeah. And if you're at a stop... Now we give the like dragon. What the heck I could have done is Wait, run we towards die? mid, Drexel was mid. The dragon? No, right? I don't know actually. Can they end? Let the cave things no. I mean, they have seven sided on Mong. I mean, the, the, the team fighting is still uh, out of works, right? In an ideal 5v5, I think Dominance is stronger. Like, seven sided, Cocoon, Rexa 20, yeah, Dark 20. Yeah, the Rexa 20 so should be very respect. strong. But... They have to respect it if they want to go for cores, or going for forts is probably the correct play. I mean, they get one, one for. Uh, yeah, Rutsu's Rutsu. suddenly dying. The dra it's dragon's the, breath is cure in the dragon, that's why it's extra strong. Everyone is tank. Oh no, not again! Okay. But what's the cleanse? Yeah. Isolation, Irel is in. Can we use boars maybe? I boar? Yes, there we go. It's awkward though. Yeah, and uh, just lick the. Oh, we didn't have lick with the boars. Oh, did you see what he did? Did he? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ay. Game over, I guess. I mean, Down Hands a very realistic way of winning uh, BOE and this game again, but... KDAs? Wait, which KDAs get ruined here? Cures! He's already ruined. No, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Full HP. Oh. I... Well, That's ping. That's ping. Oh, uh, you were right. 3-0 actually, you said it. Um, <laughs> but not in this manner. I thought 30 game would be way more dominant. Like, both BOE and this game, very, very shaky and lucky, on, uh, honestly. Oh, Anub, he just fucking eats in, and then... Yeah. I mean, he pressed his uh, warrior shield, but he was on 1% when he got it off, so he instantly died. At least I think he got it off. Maybe he just died anyway, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Yo, hide the screen, hide the screen, hide the screen. Uh, why? What is what uh, do I see here? Nick is not allowed to look at it. He's gonna play W build from ah, the now on, Sith. On, only. Yeah, 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 top everything. It's too much <laughs> damage. No, 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 look away. <laughs> top everything, guys. It's the W build. Into full uh, front surely, liners. Surely, surely. She got. I mean, Madara hit a lot of good mind controls. I mean, yeah. The opponents also, I guess, like kind of not fully respecting it, but yeah. What? Well, that's it, guys. 30k uh, winning 3-0 means uh, Oxygen vers versus 30k in the winner bracket and Diamond Hands versus Wild Heart in the lower bracket. Tomorrow, that is. Mm, I actually don't know which match is first, if winner bracket or loser bracket, but we will figure that out. Liquipedia says... Your match is first. So winner bracket is first, yeah. Okay. And you're gonna 3-0? Yeah, sure. 3-0, 30k, right? Easy clap. Yep. I don't know I what mean, could go wrong. Let them, I mean, let them have Thrall and... Anu Honestly, this is a bit rude maybe, but play the game actively. <laughs> and together. So no Tassada, no Tassada AFK draft? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, like um, I mean, I know, I know you guys play really well. Like, if if you guys go for a fight that you think you win, you you most certainly win. Like, I think to, in this match between Thunder K and Downhands, the a lot of the times the team that chose to fight lost, which is very poor. I mean, yeah, it's uh, probably bad execution, yeah, right? like or, that's or, very bad, or bad uh, understanding of like the the win conditions, either or just bad execution can yeah. be one of it. But yeah, and I'm confident that you guys know that a lot well, better. So let's, let's uh, hope. Let's hope. Uh, it, it to be fair, tomorrow it is full NA versus full Europe, right? This this year was full NA versus full NA, so ping was not a matter for either of the teams. But we are gonna be on the on the backside tomorrow, like on the you know deceiving end. But yeah, we will try our best, obviously. And there is a loser bracket, so who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, I will. I will let the the interview play, Dino.
thank you very mm -hmm. much for for joining. Yeah, good luck for tomorrow and good night. Yeah, already. thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. See you. Yo, Kettle, congrats. Looked, uh, I mean, uh, pretty clean overall uh, here and there. Like, oh, I mean, what, what do I say, right? After us hinting the best of five as well. Let's, but... let's turn this fight here. Let's yeah. bait him in. Pretty clean so overall. Just, they're, they're thinking, they're, they're just thinking about everything. Diamond they're Hands showing actually some sign space. of lives, but uh, when it really mattered, 30k really or you guys. That's why 30k has been looking so strong. A lot more clean. They definitely deserve the 3 0. I mean, in that bottom moment, it's just... Sylvanas so at W6, no wonder the game was hard. <laughs> Yo, he was top everything. Top PvE, top uh, damage, top experience. In concentration and just shut down the members of Diamond Hands and were able to really just kind of steamroll past a lot of that. But of course, let's go ahead and get one of the 30k members joining us uh, right so now. we get an interview? Madara, so we got an interview with Madara. Ah, the Sylvanas. Uh, Congratulations uh, on the victory. It's here from Madara. Hi there, thank you. I'm doing well. I had good mind controls. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick game. quickly kick things off. Uh, that Dragonshire map was probably uh, that was the only time when Diamond Hand started to kind of push against you. Was there any sort of adjustments you had to make in Dragonshire, or was it like we chill? I think we get to this actually, point Diamond Hand like said they, they should have won the map. Uh, you know, actually, you at stack the end, 200 plus stacks on Sylvanas and you just win the game. Can you talk a little bit about the game plan that was utilized for Dragonshire? Uh, yeah, so normally the plan when you have Sylva on that map is uh, you just take the top camp and you end the game with that. And we kept trying to do that and they kept responding, which is why it kind of <laughs> went a little poorly for us. Because they would respond and then they'd gank bottom lane. And Thrall has okay. a really rough time into ganks. So later on in the game, Kira was like, let's stop going top, let's start running bot instead. And that's really when our momentum started turning, when we got those like fights under our bot for it and caught them overextended a lot. Oh, thank you. That that literally that answers exactly the question because I was like, what was the turn? What was the change in the play style? So thank you so much. But of course, other questions from uh, Justing and Grubby. We'll start out with Justing. Yep. So uh, in in game one, it was a little bit close there at the end. Uh, how confident <laughs> were were you guys? And I guess just what was your your general strategy in that map? Cause it felt like you were in control of it for most of it until you weren't, and then you kind of got the the reverse Uno card at at the core. What was the thought process? Yeah. Yeah, that one was a little uh, intense. We, we've we been scrimming Diamond Hands on BOE a lot. They've got some really good like uh, draft strategies on that map, so we have got pretty accustomed to what they like to play. I think the the main problem was in the late game. So they did actually the scrim with the that's, that's what he just said. That's when really started yeah. unraveling a little bit. We weren't able to kill him off a lot of our like, uh, CC chains. But uh, eventually, I mean, Kira was like, I just keep missing my scatters, so I promise I'll the next one, and he did. <laughs> so uh, that's all it really took. Alrighty, uh, Grubby, any questions for Madara? Madara, would it be fair to say that you felt that you won all three drafts, or do you feel like it was more of a outplay or a get lucky or something? Um, I don't think uh, we necessarily won all three drafts. In fact, I don't think Kira knows how to draft. Somehow, we just keep getting away with it, <laughs> which is pretty insane. So uh, I don't think we necessarily won the drafts too hard, but... Uh, I think they were at least even in most of them. Okay. Kira doesn't, doesn't know how to, how to draft. draft. Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. Going to the tabloids now. <laughs> but well played. I was going to say, his, uh, his coaching see. command, he's not going to want to hear that one. But either way, uh, <laughs> a really, really good a really good series. Uh, tomorrow, you're going to go up against Oxygen Esports in the upper bracket finals. Thoughts, concerns, excitement for that matchup? Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Oxygen was my old org. I still love all the management there. Uh Huge respect for a lot of their players right now. Uh, I, I don't know how they do it with that much ping, but uh, <laughs> really excited to play against them, honestly. Well, we look forward to that matchup as well. Before we let you skedaddle and get ready for tomorrow's games and to go celebrate with your crew, any shouts that you like to give, the floor is all yours. Yeah, of course, shout outs to the team, uh, 30K, all you guys for watching, keeping hots going, uh, CCL. Uh, of course, huge shout out to Heinz Ketchup, uh, to my roommate Weston, Nada. and Nada. lastly to Based Kevin for, you know, putting on the land in Miami. Awesome, oh, awesome. True, yeah. well, thank you so true. much, Modder, for joining us for the interview. Good luck in your matchup tomorrow up against Oxygen. Until then, well, good luck in your practice and get some good rest. Thank you. That was uh, Madara, guys. 30k winning 3-0. Um... Not much to say. I mean, they are the favorite for the whole playoffs, right? Don't get me wrong. Um, 
And if you compare the two best of fives, like, I mean, we did win ours, right? But it was a lot more of a fiesta, I'd say, uh, compared to theirs. I think Diamond Hands looked fine. I think sometimes individually they had, like, very big fuck-ups, which actually, like, some of the maps were lost by that, but... Yeah, I think they looked fine overall. I mean, it's very hard into 30k. Like, it's just... It's not easy. Very, like, I don't know. Gotta play very clean, actually. And Madara actually said it on, on Dragonshire, right? He said, we started coming back into the game when we fought our under fort, which means, like, Diamond Hands was, like, running it down, basically. That's honestly what happened. Like, they were fucking diving the fort until they died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, Miami land that already happened or a new one? Uh, exclamation mark uh, Miami, guys. We will have a tournament in Miami. And yes, that one is happening, the offline event. It's the Heroes International. Caldo has announced it and they are working together with the uh, Next Level Gaming guys. Basically, if you remember the Chili Mountain LAN in Miami, it's it's basically like that, but bigger, better, you know, schöner, größer, härter, something like that. You, you, know, just, uh, you, l you learn from the initial LAN and then you make everything a bit better. All right. That's it for tonight, guys. We we have more tomorrow. More CCL playoffs tomorrow. Actually, wait, they're showing the bracket right now. Uh, am I on time? Yep. ...against Wildheart. Winning the first two, then losing two, nearly getting reverse swept, but finally clinching it in the fifth. That puts them in the winner bracket finals, which will also be best of five and played tomorrow. In the loser bracket, we find Wildheart uh, Esports and Diamond Ants, who just lost 0-3 to 30k. That is a best of five as well, and it will be for elimination. The loser is going to be fourth place in the CCL. Still respectable, but their weekend ends. Then, in the Constellation Finals and Grand Finals, you have a best of five and best of seven. That's going to be on Sunday in this three-day event. We can actually take a look at tomorrow's specific schedule and get you all up to date on to what matches will be happening. Justin, could you break it down for our audience at home, as well as everyone over at the Wisdom Gaming Studios in Mall of America? So tomorrow we've got Oxygen going up against 30k. 30k. Do they have a live cam to Oxygen the? Do they have a series. live cam to the like Mall of America thingy? Now first and second. To the uh, how's uh, it called? Teams, uh, the winners bracket teams playing against each other to stay in the winners bracket. The viewer party or and, whatever. In, the second matchup, we have Wildheart Public versus viewing. Diamond Hands. <laughs> I don't know. This is an elimination match. This is the lower bracket. One of these teams is going to lose their chance at the finals, and one of their te one of the teams is going to be sticking with it and still have a chance to make it to okay. the grand finals and potentially win the whole Prediction thing. Prediction for tomorrow. As the underdog. We'll have to see what happens tomorrow. We still have two more. I don't know. I don't want to predict our game. I don't Euro like that. CCL I think, I think Diamond has Hands was wild hot. Blast. We have some great best of five action, and we will continue tomorrow with three, more two, of those games. We will be Diamond having Hands. the uh, matchup of 30k versus Oxygen three, and Wildheart yeah, versus two, Diamond really. Hands. Should be a very, very fun day of Hero CCL action starting at 11 a.m. PDT, 2 o'clock EDT, and 20. All right. You heard the schedule. Uh, you heard the schedule for tomorrow, yes, and for Sunday as well. Perfect. Uh, you've been checking. Uh, Kev says he's been checking Twitter, and no one has posted a pic or anything yet. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I mean, now honestly, like, not only that the LAN get cancelled, but then yesterday there was like a, a shooting right in the in the Mall of America. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I like, was. Uh, worst case, I guess. But, uh, yeah. If, I mean, if the people are there, and maybe some are watching this stream here uh, on, the, on the little phone, like, shout out to you guys. I hope it's uh, still enjoyable over there as well. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, same time, actually. We start at 8 p.m. We start at 8 p.m. European time again. Best of 5 versus 30k, and then there's a loser bracket match afterwards. Uh, Wild Heart versus uh, Diamond Hands. Best of 5 as well. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching.